Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, today, as I walk through a shady spot, let's find some light here. Today, I am getting started on converting that Euro grower into an aquaponic garden. Now, one of the things that I need to do to make that happen is I need some sort of table that the, uh, well, the grow media can sit on because right now it sits on top of the tote. So, to do that, I'm going into the old aquaponic shop here and I'm going to disassemble the table that I made for that aquaponic garden and, uh, yeah, try and move it into the basement. So, yeah, all right, let's get started because it's cold outside. While I haven't measured it yet, I do have faith that this can sit sideways across the bottom of the Euro grower. And as much as I'd like to take that tote into the basement, there is just no way I'm going to be able to pull that off. So, yes, I'm going to take this and uh, I'm going to have to take it apart. Lucky for me, I uh, made it pretty straightforward when I assembled it. So i got to take those legs off. Looks like I brought the wrong screwdriver bit. going to have to find a new home for all this junk in the top. But, in theory, I should be able to support the Euro Grower garden area on top of this table assembly. May not look perfect, may not look pretty, but it'll be functional. And uh, for those of you who watch my channel on a regular basis, you know darn well that's really all I care about. So, I guess I got some bikes to move and some stuff to move and I gotta find myself, uh, I'm gonna say a medium sized Robertson instead of the Phillips head that I brought in. All right. Well, that was a horrifying sound. All right. I think I'll do the rest of these off camera because that's, that's a nasty squeak. Well, that's one off. <laughs> Three to go. Better flip this thing so it doesn't fall over on me, though. All right. Well, with the legs off, that should be much easier to move down into the dungeon. All right. Got all four legs over here. And time to close the camera and go back out into the snow. Whew. Well, I sure am glad I took that apart, because as it was, I almost bit it a couple times coming down the stairs with those parts. So now, I think now I've got some rearranging to do. I'm going to have to move all of these buckets on top for sure, because this is the piece that I want to put on that tabletop. It does look like it should fit going this way. Definitely going to need some new plumbing, but I think I have all the parts for that. Not sure it's going to still fit here, though. So, alrighty, uh, time to play that uh, slidey puzzle game, I guess. Oh, ha, ha, ha. for those of you who missed the plant out yesterday, I know uh, Todd Rob Jeff there was quite concerned he didn't get to see me planting everything. There you go, that table is full now, and I've still got, well, let's look over here. Uh, I still got quite a few cups prepped and ready to go, so need to make more room. And then again, I also need to pull down the kills from last year's garden hunt. All my Kentucky harvest stuff here. A few things did all right, dried up nicely. Most things did not. I do not recommend this for tomato storage, for example. That turned out to be a bad idea. Most of the peppers, though, dried up okay. So, I mean, it's a partial win. I'll take it. I'll take it. But that's not what we're here to work on today. We're here to work on converting the Euro Grower to an aquaponic garden. Which means hopefully at the end of the day, a couple of these fish, wherever they're hiding, oh, they're back behind the jelly bag. Can't really see them in the shadow there. But a couple of them are probably going to end up in the bottom of that garden. So, with luck, today... I will officially have created an aquaponic garden from the hydroponic garden that I got sent when I asked for nutrients. All right, it's a strange world, but life carries on. All right, so I did a little measuring. The legs attached to the outside of this structure. This structure is almost exactly the same size as the base over there. It's 48 inches in length, and this is 25 inches in width, whereas that is only 24. So. If the fates are with me in this one, I might just be able to actually put this right on top of the bed, well, under the, uh, right on, I can't speak today, right on top of the base 
Thank you. Uh, the word's escaping me there. And then it'll be a tight fit to get the table on here, but if I can make that fit, that's great, and I don't have to really turn anything, and I won't have to move all of that water, which is good, because I thought I was going to have to move it, because I was thinking I was going to have to turn the base this way, but it turns out that's only 40 inches on this little platform, and like I just said, that's like 48. So, right. This is getting interesting now. Well, that's a whole different look for this thing. Definitely looks like it could use a quick cleaning while I'm at it, but much lighter now. So that's good. A few more bits to fiddle with, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Here's a slightly better look at the fish now that I'm giving them a bit of food. Looking quite nice, looking quite healthy. Surprising, considering they're feeder fish. And it wasn't exactly a cycled tank. It is, in fact, just a storage tote. But they don't care. Someone mentioned it kind of looks like these things have grown a little bit already. I'm very much inclined to agree with that. They do seem bigger. But that said, all the goldfish that I fed this um, koi and goldfish food to have, have grown pretty quickly. So that is excellent news. Not sure if we'll be transferring all the fish today or just a couple of them, but first I gotta get this onto the table. Figured while I've got it apart here, we take a look at the pump that came with the Euro Grower. Got a nice sponge filter covering the intake. This may be problematic trying to arrange new plumbing, but I'm pretty sure I can figure something out. That's what I do. Here we've got the drain pipes. Just kind of clip into place with these little black clips here and drain down back into the tank there. That should be easy enough to slip something over and uh, drain back into the tank as well. Especially if I am able to just go straight up with this, then, uh, well, it's just gravity, really, so no worries there. This is going to be the bigger problem, but I can always switch out this pump here and rig it up like I used to. I don't necessarily have to stick with uh, what came with the Euro Grower. I would just like to because it's a nice little pump and I'm curious to see how long it can last. Because I know how long this Laguna pump has been around and it's been around for a long, long time. I may have balked at spending like 75, 80 bucks on a pump when I did, but that sucker's down to like maybe a buck 50 a month at this point. So money well spent, money well spent. Nice to upgrade from that little tiny aquaponic garden, so-called. But well, we can sort of see the mint in there, we can sort of see the oreganos in there. None of my lettuce is sprouted, but that's life. That's life. They were old seeds. I don't mind. Take a look at the El Oro de Ecuador, though. Seems to be doing better since it's getting its aphids flicked off into the fish tank. I guess that's not going to be quite as convenient. But if we look at the legs here, we can see that this table is going to bring it up quite a ways over the base. So, I should have ample viewing room and still be able to get in there and flick the aphids off pretty easily. Pretty easily. But I better get on this or I'm never going to get it done. Oh, how patriotic the flag is reflected in there. Now that I've got the top off of this thing, this really does look like it's going to be a much nicer fish tank in general. I think uh, I might want to put a nylon or something around that uh, drain, but otherwise like to know what all this muck is in the bottom considering there shouldn't be any like real waste in there hmm maybe that's all dust from the clay pellets I don't know alright anyway so the next goal here I guess is to put the table together over my basin alright so it looks like in premise, this is going to work. However, Mr. Bear is not always the most forward-thinking individual. And at this point, if I was doing this with a friend, I'd be going something along the lines of, I'm really not sure how well thought out this plan was there, Master. But I'm going to have to wiggle my way in there. I'll probably move the sand dollar and a few other things around. Get that last leg on. And I'm actually kind of impressed by how well this seems to be working so far. Uh, gonna have to really stand back to view this thing, but 
be nice and easy to see the fish with that kind of height. So, all right, all right, this is promising. I can deal with this. All right, well, it turns out that uh, this platform that everything's standing on here isn't entirely level. What a surprise! So I had to kind of adjust one of my legs here. It looks a little silly now, but I don't really care. Um, look how well this top fits on here. It's like, huh. It probably wouldn't have worked out that well if I'd tried to build the table for this thing. So I am super excited about that. Now, I, uh, I guess I need to raise this light up a little bit more. But that'll be good for the sit-down videos. And, uh, yeah, I still need to clean this off. And I'm going to have to figure out a little bit of plumbing. But I have done so much plumbing in my aquaponic adventures with this PVP, PVP pipe. <laughs> I'm really not worried about it. So... Cool. So one of the biggest issues that I've got with this conversion is those uh, drain pipes. It uh, turns out I have two three-quarter inch to one-half inch elbows. So I'm going to connect those onto the drain. And I'll probably run it to something like this. And then from there we'll just have a straight drain into the basin. And that should work. For a drain at least. I have an idea for the pump, but it may involve cutting this, so I'm going to fiddle around first, and if I can avoid doing that, I'm going to. Alright, so as it turns out, I got super lucky, because the thread on these matches the thread on the pump, and the thread on the top piece, so I was able to just use these to splice in a piece of half inch PVC, and I didn't have to cut anything. Now on the drain side, things are not working out quite as I'd hoped. I got two angles running to two separate drain pipes and I need to go out in the shop and find some more half inch PVC that'll bring that uh, closer to the water level because I don't care for the amount of splash that that I guarantee is going to produce. But that is still a start and I'm quite excited about the pump. So I guess now I need to bring back the irrigation part of this. Well, you know what, I should wash it first before I get too much further. I guess at this point I should note that I'm using the term wash rather loosely and uh, really I just sprayed it down with my little hydrogen peroxide solution and ran the dungeon towel over it. But it's definitely better than it was and now time to try and hook up the irrigation to all of this. Which could also quite clearly use being wiped off with said same dungeon towel. Alrighty then. Going back to putting the little garden planters back on here. But one thing I always thought was cool and I wanted to point out is that with this Euro grower, it just, it's got these little outlets that drop right into the holes and it kind of holds it nice and snug in place and really reduces the opportunity for it to drip all over the place. This is uh, still not gonna work once I get that pepper in there, but whatever, I don't care. I can put shorter plants in here. I really <laughs> don't care. And I've still got a fair bit of room that I can lift this light up if need be. I'm just going to have to untie the Mars Hydro light that's kind of tied onto the chain right now. But this is coming along fairly well, I think. Don't you think? I think. All right. All right. Well, for the moment, it looks like the Ahi Panic is going to fit under the light. And uh, it'll be a much closer to it. So hopefully if it's going to produce any new growth for me. It'll be now. Gotta get those last three buckets in place. And then basically, let's step away from this a little bit here. I have uh, split up the Euro grower so I can turn it into an aquaponic garden. I still gotta find two longer pieces a half inch, but I'm sure I've got them out in the shop. And if not, I can join a couple pieces together and get creative. That's what I do. So now we come to the nerve wracking bit where I test my plumbing. All right, it looks like I need to tighten up that right there. Got a bit of a leak coming out. It's going back into the tank though, so not much of a concern there. We've got some long drips going on there. But I can, I can fix that. I can still fix that. And basically, I guess just check the lines. That one's working. 
That one's working. They're probably all working just fine. I see no reason that they'd be plugged up. Need to straighten up my green onions here. Straighten up, you! Straighten up. Might switch them forward to where Miles is. But, all right, for the most part, this is reassembled and does seem to be functional. <laughs> I honestly thought there were gonna be a lot more complications than that. I'm uh, huh, pretty excited. Now, I was thinking maybe I'm gonna put the fish into here, but I don't think I'm gonna put all of the fish into here. They're happy enough in their tow right now. But, I am gonna put some in here so that they can start building the bacteria and the clay pellets here that they've been building down in the, the little, what is that, chicken wing bucket or something that I've got in the tote. So, yeah, basically, that concludes the adventure. It's just a matter of putting some fish in there and putting on some longer pipes. I'm really excited to have uh, finally gotten around to this, and it's nice, this garden's high enough I can lean on it, the light's high enough, it's kind of behind me, but not really uh, glaringly so, and I can turn just a little bit, and look at that. So, yeah, I'll have to redefine the camera angles down here. But I think that's where I'm going to wrap up today's video. Um, I did notice a couple of you have checked out that link, and uh, that's awesome. I encourage more of you to go back to yesterday's video, check out that link for Swag Bucks. It, you know what? I just turned in for a whopping $3 Amazon card, Amazon.ca. Don't use it for Amazon.com because it won't count. But I did turn in for a, a $3 Amazon.ca card. And that is on its way, I guess, to some electronic stuff that has to happen first. But it, it really looks like it's going to go through no complication. And I had a thought on that too. Rather than getting seeds that are like four and five and six bucks, and I would probably shell out for one way or the other, I think I'm going to save up and get one of those little aeroponic gardens like I see so many people using. I found uh, a little red one. It's just a little three puck thing. Um, it's about 70 bucks. I know Kyle Waller just picked one up for 20 a few weeks ago or maybe a week and a half ago. Time is, is getting really weird with this daily posting thing. But, um, yeah, I'd really like to give that a try because it's a completely independent little system. All I've really got to do is just plug it in somewhere the cat can't, can't get to it, and I'm good to grow. So that definitely merits some sort of investigation. All right, everybody, I'm going to wrap it up here and uh, tell you have an absolutely fantastic day. Them orders. You're under orders to have a fantastic day. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining me and being part of the adventure. Yeah. All right. You're a grower aquaponics. Woohoo!